It is important that you be aware of the purpose and operating requirements of the various apron markings. Equipment storage areas are marked by a continuous red line with equipment storage text inside the line. The area may be used for storage or staging of serviceable vehicles or GSE. Your vehicle park brake should be engaged and the engine switched off before leaving the vehicle in this area. Equipment clearance areas are marked by a single broken red line with equipment clearance text inside the line. The area may be used for the staging of GSE and vehicles for the servicing of the arriving aircraft. Vehicles and equipment must not be left unattended. Storage of equipment in the equipment clearance area is not permitted. Equipment storage and clearance areas are limited in size. When staging or storing equipment in either of these areas, please be considerate of other users and position your vehicle or equipment so that it optimises the available space. It is your responsibility to make sure all equipment and vehicles are staged or stored correctly. All vehicles must be positioned fully within a marked equipment clearance or equipment storage area where available. On some bays, a parking clearance line marked by a continuous red line with a continuous yellow line either side is provided. Parking clearance text is provided on the side of the line closest to the aircraft. The marking indicates to an arriving aircraft that there are no obstacles within the aircraft's wingtip clearance. These areas are not to be used for equipment storage or staging at any time and must remain free of personnel, vehicles and equipment whenever an aircraft is taxiing or being towed into position or the aircraft beacon is activated in preparation for pushback. Aerobridge clearance zones are marked as red and white hatched areas. Vehicles and equipment are not permitted to enter, drive through and or park a vehicle within the Aerobridge clearance zone at any time. This is to protect the movement area of apron drive aerobridges. Refueling trucks, catering trucks and engineering equipment that are required to service the aircraft may only enter the Aerobridge clearance zone once the Aerobridge has been positioned and must be mindful of height clearances.